Yes, I was. Um, like you say, a lot of penalties in the first half. Um, I think the count at one stage was eight uh, against two. Uh, so we put, it, put ourselves a lot, uh, under a lot of pressure in the first half. Uh, second half, the last uh, two penalties in the scrums, I thought was 50-50 decisions could have gone either way. But um, now all credit to the players who kept their cool and uh, prevent them from scoring that last try. Well, the guys worked quite hard, I must say, um, in the game itself. And, and uh, we... We got the opportunity to, to make double hits because we worked off the ball and um, you know like uh, Lua told us last time as well you know that, that he's feeling confident making hits and, and you know when your forwards are, are confident and, and they're taking the guys back and slowing the ball down then you know and you're on a good wicket so you are credit to the whole team. No it's, it's, it's tough I think it's, it's um, you know it's not easy to, to lose a, a lot of spring box and then they come back because last four weeks uh, I mean, we were in the, in the same situation with seven Springboks and um, you couldn't train for two or three weeks. It, it was difficult. You couldn't do any structure. It's only in the last week. Um, so it, it's got to be tough. Um, I understand uh, Jake's decision to rest some players because most of those players played now for 17 weeks uh, with the Springboks and Super 15 and he's got to uh, budget for another two or three games uh, if he wants to go all the way. So um, I understand his decision to, to uh, play a few players off the bench tonight. Um, but it's, it's difficult to say whether they've, they've uh, you know, picked too early or, or whatever. I think there's a lot of, lot of games left. Uh, they are certain of uh, winning the South African Conference and uh, so they're certain of, a, uh, of making the playoffs. And that's always tough when, when players already know that they are in, in the playoffs. Yeah, look, we were secure of a player spot a long time ago, you know, so I mean, we knew that worst case scenario we could finish third. Um, still not all over, I think to be fair, you know, we're the same as the Crusaders now. They've got to play the Highlanders next weekend, so, you know, that result goes, you know, maybe Highlanders lose tomorrow to the Tars, and then they go on and beat the, the, the Crusaders next weekend, we can still end up coming second, you know, so... Yeah, it's a, it's a difficult game. I mean, I must say, it's tough to play in, in, in Bloemfontein. We know that. They've beaten some good sides here yeah, in the history of the competition. And, you know, we probably never did ourselves any favours by giving them such a good start. Yeah, look, I must say that, uh, I mean, their defence was, was really good. You know, ours probably lacked a bit. We got them to, you know, first mall try came from 25 yards out. And then that pick and drive try came from, it's almost like a training run, you know. So that's disappointing for us. But... Uh, I've I got to say that I felt at times that the, you know when we carried the ball into the 22, we probably never got a reward for for Free State not rolling away. You know, and uh, there were times at the breakdown where I thought the ref, you know, he went, he gave penalties both ways. I wasn't sure what what he was, you know, what he was looking at in all those penalties, not for us but for both teams. So I think that when you get a breakdown opportunity like you saw tonight, and then you probably get. A referee that bl blows the breakdown like that, the defence becomes a lot easier because you can get more time to actually get your numbers around the corner. No, the, shark, the Sharks spent themselves in the four weeks playing for South Africa and in the camp leading into that game. And you consider that those players have played 12 weeks in a row. They've been involved in, in a game that's three months without missing a Saturday. You know, so when you put that in perspective, guys like Bismarck, Yanni, Willem Alberts, you know, those guys, J.P. Peterson, Luazi and Volvo, they've gone 12 weeks without missing. Marcel could see her. I mean, you work it out, you know, three months of not missing a Saturday and having to front up every week takes its toll. So, you know, I've got no doubt it's not the Australia, Australasian tour. It was just the workload that's catching up to a lot of our players. But there's no excuses. Free State were good tonight. They deserve to win. They kicked, they kicked better than us. I thought Tuerson was outstanding. And he kept us pinned in our half. You know, we... We played quite well, we made some line breaks, we looked like we could go and score, but you can't play from 60 yards out every time. You know? So, yeah, I, I'm, and I know I'm jumping around, but I don't think it's just Australasian too. There's a lot more to getting a team on the field week in and week out than, than, what, than, than what we have now. Obviously, you guys wrote it during the week that uh, North-South Derby uh, is, is a big one and you've got to, you have to be ready when you, you know, for this clash, and I think we were absolutely ready for this one. I think we played at an intensity, which I'm really proud of, and very proud of the first half. Uh, it's some of the best rugby that we've played this year, especially against a quality side like the Bulls. So, yeah, in general, very happy with the 
with the result of the performance. Definitely, and, and I know you know some guys would ask about the second half, and, and you know you must remember the Bulls also had no points in the second half, and the Cheetahs, a lot previous home game, had no points. So from that perspective, uh, Gavin, uh, it shows again that the balance uh, that we're trying to strive for, yeah, uh, we get that right. We were unbelievable with ball in hand at the beginning, and we you know we defended well. So uh, uh, the, the kicking game also, it's really coming together. Um, I know it was a bit difficult and we always knew it was going to be a set-piece battle and we uh, Lionels didn't go uh, all that well in the second half. But uh, then again, you know, you're playing against uh, Victor Matfield and I think one should give Victor Matfield credit for, for staying on for 80 minutes. Uh, as a captain, I mean, he could have easily left the field, but uh, he's making it difficult for us. Uh, but uh, really, in general, very, very happy with the result. <clears throat> we only had one opportunity set-piece in the, half, the first half. And one broken field opportunity, so we had two the first half. So, you know, we tried to be positive and try to get a gain line. But, you know, the fence was strong. They kept us out. And that's where I thought we lost the field position because from that we conceded turnovers and that gave them the upper hand in the right areas. Second half, you spot on. We were dominating the gain line. Really, we were getting the yards, getting the momentum, but we lost it at the breakdown. And we got penalties, but you were chasing the game. So you could build it like three, six, nine, but you know, we really wanted to, to get back into it. So we back to call, but we couldn't convert that bridge. You know, so it was a pity.